Warning. The following video contains amateur chess content. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, guys? Before we get into the video, I just want to do a quick announcement. Um, I'm going to be hosting amateur chess tournaments for cash prizes. It's called uh, Tilted Tuesday, so a spinoff of Tidal Tuesday. Um, all you have to do to join is join my Discord. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. And then subscribe to my YouTube, and you'll be eligible to compete for cash prizes. I'm going to be hosting these twice a month once we have enough people. Um, it's going to be ELO based, so you're going to be in groups of similar ELO from 500 all the way up to 2000. Um, and yeah, that's all you got to do. So join the Discord, all the information's there. Let's get into the video. All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's a bit different. We're playing uh, Not Ivan. So he has his own YouTube channel. Um, he streams a lot of chess content, so we're playing him today in an unrated game. Uh, so yeah, I know a, a couple things about Ivan just because I watch a lot of his videos. He he loves to play the Karl Khan, so um, I expected with E4 that we were going to get a Karl Khan. So let's just continue here. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the advanced variation here. Um, yeah, and this is kind of what I was hoping for. So I don't know what this attack is called. Uh, but I've seen in quite a few videos of Karo Khan videos that I watch that uh, this G4 thing is an idea. So I'm going to play it. Um, and we're going to see what happens here. We are going to see what happens. So I could be really aggressive here. Uh, but it might actually end up backfiring on us. Um... I think this is the correct move, right? I forget which knight comes next in the Karo. Oh, but we're probably going to castle queenside in this game here. Oh, that's kind of my idea. Um, and we're just going to keep developing our pieces, I think. Not going to do anything too crazy, although this move is a bit risky. I'm just trying to castle uh, queenside as fast as I can. Make this game interesting. Uh, but Ivan's a really cool guy, so I'm going to put his... Um, information in the description of this video and you guys should go check out his channel if you don't already uh, watch him his channel's quite a bit bigger than mine so there's a chance that you might there's a chance that you might already watch Ivan um, so I think I kind of just want to get his his light squared bishop maybe um, although he does have like all his pawns on light squares here so maybe it's worth um, keeping our light squared bishop around here. What do I want to do? I, I know that this move's coming. I think I am just going to get rid of his, his light squared bishop. Now we're ready to castle. Probably should have played this to keep the queen from coming here, but um, you know, win or lose this game doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter to me because Ivan's a cool guy. So just want to give some action here, make a interesting Karo Khan video. He, go, he could go for this idea, but I'm not sure how good that is. Yeah, 
if he plays c5, which is kind of what you're supposed to do here, um, I am going to have the opportunity to give him a check. Um, and then if he blocks with the knight, uh, this b7 pawn is extremely weak. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, I can't really win any of his pieces, though, because the queen and the rook um, are going to defend one another. But could pick up a pawn, maybe. Okay, so he pins our knight. He pins our knight, which is interesting. Um, what do I want to do about that? This move comes to mind, but I'm kind of scared of his queen getting over here, uh, to be quite honest. So I could just rush this exchange. I could just rush this exchange with uh, the knight here, or I could just castle and unpin. Really not sure what's best here. Um, getting the knight out feels good. Getting the knight out for sure feels good, because then we can keep the queen from getting in over here. So, um, so I'm kind of between castle a3 or knight f3. Uh, I do kind of suppose that if he gets his queen over here, that could be a little annoying. He gets his queen in, and then um, he could ruin my pawns unless I brought my bishop back, so. I don't really want to castle right now. I don't really want to castle long, because if I castle long, and his queen comes over here, he's kind of threatening to take, take, and get this pawn over here. Mm -hmm. Um, I think getting the knight out makes some sense. Interesting. This is called the bayonet attack. Um, so maybe... When I went for the G4 pawn push, is that, yeah, so that's called the bayonet attack. I knew it had a name. Okay, he just develops a knight. Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just challenge his bishop over here. No, uh, and then we'll probably long castle. I'm, in, I'm very, very interested in seeing the game review. Because I don't ever really play this bayonet attack idea. So I don't know if I'm winning or losing right now, to be completely honest. Uh, I really don't. Okay, so that just kind of makes me want to blow open the <laughs> that makes me want to just play g5 like I can just start pushing all of my pawns over there let's castle and just go for an attack I'm actually pretty surprised that he decided to still castle uh, kingside My pieces are definitely, uh, they're all kind of working on this side of the board. Okay, so part of me wants to go g5, but that kind of allows the knight over here. But g5 takes, bishop takes, and then we're kind of just dominating over there also could look at h4 um so i push the pawn i push the pawn his knight can come in 
but it really isn't threatening a whole lot of stuff. So g5 takes, bishop takes. I mean, but what's the harm of getting one more pawn involved here? I, th I feel like... I think this looks pretty scary. Yeah, we're kind of just all in on this attack now. Um, if I can, I need to get my queen here, maybe. Because then knight takes, that would just be mate. But queen probably needs to come here. Okay, he locks the center. That was probably his his best bet, honestly. Was probably his best bet. That definitely stops uh, my attack for now. What do I want to do to proceed here? Uh, maybe get the rook onto the G file. Slow improving moves. But yeah, good, good, good move by Ivan closing. Closing things down over here. That definitely puts the brakes on it for now. Okay. Now the question is... Uh, take... Looks pretty bad because then he just allows his knight in. So we can just recapture with the knight. Um, I'm just going to play... I don't know, this is a pretty good square for his knight. But I think we're going to recapture with the knight here, if he takes. Uh, he for sure has some chances to turn this, turn this in his favor. Um, he's going to open the C file that I'm castled directly into. So that's not great. He pushes. Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that, really. I really hadn't even thought of that, to be honest. Um, we can just kind of slow down here. Uh, we can bring the queen back. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played a opening I really know nothing about here, to be honest. That's probably not the best idea. Uh, so where do I want to bring the queen back to, I guess is the question. Can bring it all the way back, or... I think here looks pretty good, because then this pawn is... This pawn is attacked once the knight moves.
It's very complicated. Uh, if he just starts pushing his pawns, I'm actually going to get pretty worried. I'm kind of shocked that we haven't seen uh, Knight F5 yet. I don't know where I want to bring this knight to be able to threaten this pawn at the moment. I really don't know. Like, I don't really want to disconnect the rooks. Bringing it here is kind of just tempo. So I guess knight here, if this, then maybe this. But no, that's pretty bad, actually. Might have to go like night here. I really don't know. Our king is definitely not very safe. That moves a bit scary. Not going to lie, that move is a, just a little bit terrifying. We might just have to lock the center here. Because I don't like the pawn push. Like, I really have no... I really have no counter to it. Like, if he pushes the pawn, I'm kind of forced to take or push forward. I don't like his pawn living here. Um... Yeah, it isn't so clear. Honestly, might just have to lock things down over there and then go for our own thing. Uh, his knights really can't help. Like, this one's pretty stuck, and then trying to get the rook over here, like, rook lifting is a little slow, so I'm hoping we can buy ourselves enough time with uh, knight d2 and our own attack, maybe. Okay, so yeah, that, that move is finally played. Um, this pawn's holding down the infiltration for the most part. Um, he is threatening this pawn, however. But... Um, it isn't entirely clear. So if I go knight d2, he can take, and then I can take, and his knight's kind of got to go. So let's try to calculate. Knight d2, knight takes, queen takes, um... The knight can kind of threaten the rook, I guess. So, I mean, it might be worth getting rid of our bishop. It's pretty terrible. Our bishop is for sure awful. Like, it's completely blocked in by... Um, our pawns are all on dark squares, and we have a dark squared bishop, so... This thing is essentially a big old pawn now.
So let's offer him the trade. Let's offer him the trade. I also didn't want to move this knight and allow any sacrifice here, reopening the c-file. So if, if he takes our bishop, I think we're I think we're pretty happy with that. No, it'll just be a question of if we take with the rook or if we take with the pawn. Yeah, so we're both just going all in right now. Um, probably need to speed up my own attack. Probably just need to go for this pawn already. But yeah, probably won't ever play... <laughs> Probably won't ever play G4 again. That was god awful. Yeah, this pawn play is just atrocious. Yeah, we're both just going all in. Um,. think g6 is the idea next so at least if we open up his rook the the bishop still defends this pawn Got to be careful for sure. This is a weird, weird game. We're definitely both playing a little, I don't know if nervous is the right word, but I watch a lot of Ivan's videos. Um, there's definitely some weird stuff going on right now. We're both just like, n no one knows what, what the hell we're doing right now. But he's kind of got to take, because if he doesn't take, then it's mate. <laughs> Did he, I think he just hung checkmate. I feel bad. <clears throat> All right, let's game review. Uh, so we both didn't play very well. 67% um, for me, 63% for Ivan. Uh, we played like a 900. He played like a 650. So very odd Carl Kahn. Uh, this bayonet variation thing we went for. Um, 
I had prepared to play E4 against Ivan because, like I said, I watch all his videos and he always plays the Karo against E4. So I'd kind of pre prepared this interesting idea for our game. Um, yeah, we're not worse. We're not worse in the opening. Uh, we're slowly getting better. A A3 was the best move. And after castling long, our advantage actually skyrockets. Um, yeah, we just went for our attack. This was a mistake. Yeah, it, it's a mistake because it allows him to close the center, which he did. Uh, so good move. Good move from Ivan there. Um, bringing our queen here was bad. We're actually worse. Yeah, we're actually almost completely lost. <laughs> horrible game horrible game by both of us honestly um i was almost dead lost uh, but we finally got our own attack going and somehow lolly made it him in the corner so all right well if you guys enjoyed this video um let me know down in the comments something new uh make sure you guys follow ivan chess i'm gonna link his um i'm gonna link his youtube channel in, in the description he's a really cool guy um and yeah with that being said Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.